Hello viewers. Today I'll show you how to make a delicious wild game curry using three different types of wild game meat namely wild duck, partridge and rabbit. Here I have three different game meats one wild mallard duck, one wild partridge and a jointed wild rabbit. These have all been hunted in my local area in the UK. I need to chop the wild mallard duck into four or five pieces which I've done here for this recipe but I will keep the skin on both the mallard as well as the duck. Let's season the meat pieces with some salt some ground black pepper and a bit of malt vinegar rub everything into the meat making sure that you cover all sides of the meat pieces That's the meat seasoned. I will also need two bay leaves, one dry red chili, one large cinnamon stick, four cloves, three green cardamoms and two star anise. One teaspoon each of uh, turmeric and red chili powder. 400 grams of tinned chopped tomatoes. Two medium diced red onions. 4 to 6 whole garlic cloves with the skins on, 2 tablespoons of tomato puree and some good quality beef stock. Heat some oil in a large pot. We need to shallow fry the game meat pieces starting with the duck. Put the duck pieces into the pot and then brown them on all sides. This will take 4 to 5 minutes to do. And then take them out. Now it's time to brown the partridge. And you can see that I have kept the skin on since it is packed full of flavor. Add the rabbit pieces as well and brown them nicely on all sides. Use a pair of tongs to turn the meat pieces over and then take them out once they are nicely browned. Now add the whole spices to the same pot and give them a stir. Then add the diced red onions into the pot and fry them well for 3 to 4 minutes. Keep stirring the pot while doing so. Then add the powdered spices into the pot and give them a stir. Now it's time to add the chopped tomatoes into the pot and fry them together with the onions for 2 to 3 minutes then add the tomato puree into the pot and blend it in now it's time to put the game meat pieces back into the pot
give them a good mix so that the masala coats all the meat pieces then add the whole garlic cloves into the pot and mix them in now it's time to add 500 milliliters of beef stock into the pot and some salt according to your taste give the pot a mix and bring it to a boil put the lid on and cook on low flame for at least one hour after one hour take the lid off and you can see that the meat is cooked and the gravy looks absolutely lovely Add a bit of ghee or clarified butter into the pot and stir it in and our delicious wild game curry is ready to be served. Let's plate up this spicy yummy wild game curry. Garnish with some chopped mint leaves or coriander leaves if you so wish. Serve this wholesome delicious wild game curry with naans, chapatis or with rice. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel The Omnivore Indian for more. Enjoy!